What's up guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com here and I got a follow-up video to do with you guys. I completely forgot about doing a follow-up video for this until one of these things sold just the other day. So I did this video uh, December 14th. I bought like a test bulk buy, a big box of CDs to sell on Amazon to see if I could resell them on Amazon. And these four CDs right here that you see in front of you were the best of the bunch, the ones that had the most profit. So I definitely wanted to follow up on this. And we're going to say that the Andy Griffith hasn't sold and this one has not sold either. But these two have. So we're going to check on these two things. We're going to go into my inventory lab and to Amazon sales page to look at the information behind them. We're going to look at how long it took me to actually sell this and for how much profit was I able to get. All right, let's get into it. This is the inventory lab of that Nirvana CD sale. You see, I sent it in right here on 120. So January 20th, this got sent in and it sold on February 5th, which was awesome, right? It sold really, really fast. Rank on it was 77,000. So that was a really good rank for CDs. And I sold it for $29.99. Buy cost was $225. In the end, I was able to take home $19 in profit for this one CD. So a real good win here. We can look at the uh, product page here on Amazon. You can see that the price has kind of dropped a little bit, but let's look at the FBA sellers. Where are FBA sellers pricing currently? And there is no FBA right now. So if you, you could potentially flip this right now. I'm telling you guys this, you could buy these merchant fulfilled offers, get them shipped to you, then send them back into Amazon and make a little bit of profit because there is no FBA seller here. So you can kind of price probably higher than me. You can price higher than a $29.99. Maybe you could price $39.99 and make a nice sell because it does sell look at that this cd does sell quite often but there is no fba seller here so there's an opportunity for someone out there the right person that wants to go after it it's there here it is on ebay guys four bucks free shipping 99 cents plus 375 shipping you can buy these all day looks like for about five dollars buy them for five dollars send them in flip them so this shows you a good example of arbitrage and market value, right? Just because something is not valuable on one marketplace doesn't mean it's not going to be valuable on another. You can do this kind of online arbitrage all the time. So this definitely was a great win. We can go and look at this second one, the All Dogs Go to Heaven. This is the one that just sold the other day, which reminded me to make this video for you guys. See, I shipped this in again, the same lot. January 20th, I sent it in and I sold it on 816. So a good eight months to sell this CD, but I sold it at a premium price, $35.29 I was able to get for this All Dogs Go to Heaven CD. $225 was the buy cost. In the end, I got to walk out of there with $23.54 in profit. This did take some time to sell. Rank was 218,000. I don't want to be sourcing these kind of CDs unless they have this nice, awesome built in profit. So this definitely did, which is why I sent it in. It did take some time to sell, but the payoff was worth it. So let's check it out on uh, Amazon here. You can see this CD is still holding its value very well at 3591. 3889 is the first prime offer. So still a good CD to sell, but it just doesn't sell very often. We can go down here and look at this helium 10 data. In the last 30 days, here's my sale right here. That was me. So only two sales in the last 30 days. If we zoom out the year, you can actually see that this hadn't sold since I sent it in. So this is when it last sold was January 10th. I sent it in January 20th and it hasn't had a sale until someone got one here. So it doesn't sell a lot, but it does sell. And for some reason it went through this long stretch without a sale. Then it got one and then I got mine. So if you're into selling CDs or you want to get started selling CDs, uh, this is just something you can know. 218,000 rank can take up to eight months to sell. But if your buy cost is low and your profit is high, it's going to be worth holding it in inventory and sending it in and selling it. So this is a good rule, a good lesson, I guess, for all of you uh, media sellers. And it applies to, you know, books, CDs, DVDs, video games, software, you know, just used media in general. If something does not sell very often or it's got a high rank, make sure that there is enough built in profit to justify buying that product and sending it in to justify paying those monthly fees and maybe even having to pay the long term storage fees. Make sure there's decent profit in it. So there you go. There's the update video on this bulk buy. Would I do this bulk buy again? Not with this vendor, but I will continue to look for a bulk opportunity when I can. These two sold, which helped pay for the entire lot. I still have CDs from this lot in my inventory. So when those sell, they are like almost 100% profit. 
If you want to expand into selling CDs and DVDs, then definitely go ahead and look in the description and click that link or check out that first comment and click that link and learn more about how you can get ungated in CD and DVD. My name is Josh. GetUngated.com is the website and I'll catch you guys on that next video.